Hey, what's up everyone? And I welcome you again into this video. As promised in my previous video, we spoke about this video that I was gonna show you guys the best settings on how you can export your lower thirds. Now, as you remember, we created this lower third actually in Adobe Photoshop, but we had to come to Adobe After Effects to animate it so that it does not just stay there constantly it kind of comes in and then go away so in this video i'm going to show you how you can export it as a separate video whereby you just tag it in your other videos without the need of uh rendering it or maybe uh keyframing the animations you just have to export it as a specific animation that you can always put inside of your videos without hassles okay so from where we started this is where we are i'll just play this quickly as you can see the lower third comes in and then it stays there for a few seconds and then it goes away All right, I'm just gonna make my resolution a little bit half here so that I'm able to get the playback smoothly. Okay, so let's say you went and shoot another video, except this one, but you also just want to add that um, lower third on the video well that is the aim of this video is to export this only this specific lower third in a way that you are able just to put it inside of a video without keyframes without anything so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go inside of this composition and then i'm gonna now go into the lower third composition so here we have got this video and then we have got the lower third. So I'll go inside of this lower third. And inside of this lower third, what I'll do is I'm going to take out every background that is here, which is off already. And then I'm going to come to um, this composition here. And then I'm going to switch off the video itself. So it means now I have got that and that. So in order for us to export this as a separate video whereby we just put it inside of other videos without struggles, I'm going to trim this comp composition to where the animation stops. So the animation stops somewhere there. And then I will right click inside of Adobe After Effects and then trim this to comp area. So it means I have this as a six seconds video that you can always combine into your videos okay so the main thing that you are expecting here is that every time you place this lower third on top of another video you don't want to see this black you just want to see this on top of the video itself so that's why we have to learn how to export uh, lower thirds in order for us to use lower thirds into other videos okay so for you to be able to export this video you have to go inside of adobe after effects you have to go to compositions and then you add this to render queue if you want to find out if this video has a black background or it does not have a black background all you need to do is click on this part here that says toggle transparency grid then you can see that is our video there is no background this black that you are seeing is coming from this composition composition settings which is this so you are able to change this background color but it's something that is just there it does not render so you have to actually understand what is happening here this is just a background that shows that there is something but then it does not render this background color so you can cancel it or you can change it at any time but you must make sure you must understand that this video right now the black is just a placeholder the black is just a placeholder that is there when you render this it is not supposed to be there if you don't want it to be there and the way we do that if we just want to render this animation only without this black background 
then once we are in the rendering options here we go to all the format that can allow to render without a background and in that case i'll go to lossless or let's say the output module and then instead of picking format avi i'm gonna go and pick png sequence so whether you are designing inside of Adobe Photoshop, whether you are in Premiere Pro, whether you are in each and every app that does designing on the planet, PNG is a file format that allows you to exclude backgrounds. So I'm going to click that. But this video output, red, green, blue, there is a chance that it will allow that background to be there, which is the black. So all you need to do is just go to this drop down menu here and then select RGB plus alpha. Once you have done that, then it means the moment you export this uh, six seconds uh, lower third, it will have no background. And in that way, you are able to place it on any video without worrying about this black. So I'm going to click OK. And then now you have to understand what a PNG is. A PNG basically is a picture format. So if we're going to render that six seconds video, it means it's going to create the computer will generate images frame by frame. All right. So once you understand that when you are rendering, then I'm going to show you again. How can you use PNG files in other applications like uh, Premiere Pro and After Effects as well? So I'm going to click here. OK, so um, this tab Every time you place on output 2, it's going to allow you to save the file. So let's go to desktop and then we create a new folder. Okay, and then we call this um, lower third PNG ready. And then once we are in that, then you will see that it's going to create pictures starting from one going up. So all we need to do is just say save. Okay, then now we click render. Then I think it will take almost like, depending on how long is the video, this one is the six seconds lower third. It will take maybe another a minute or so. And in that process, I'm going to now open my Premiere Pro so that I can show you how you can press this lower third PNG files on a video. Okay, so once Adobe Premiere Pro shows up, then all you need to do is create a new project. This project, we're going to call it PNG Test. Transparency, transparency. Test. Okay, so once that is done, all you need to do is now you can import And then all you need to do is go where you saved that PNG ready, which I saved it on desktop. And then you open it. So you can see that here we have got a series of pictures. A lot of pictures. So all you need to do is just pick one of these pictures and then click here where it says image sequence. And then open. Yeah, so as you can see that instead of having a lot of pictures in the import section, we have got one video. And that is because when we were here, we only pick one, but this is the most important part to know when you are importing PNG images, especially that are in the form of a video. If it was just a PNG picture that you just need to use, then you don't have to click here. 
but we're clicking here because we have got a six seconds animation that we created in the uh in inside of adobe after effects which we still want to maintain it the same way only that this time around we're dealing with silly series of pictures all right so with that in mind then now i'm gonna have to bring a video that i can test this a png sequence with to show you that if you want to export something without backgrounds all you need to do is what i just showed you inside of adobe after effects so i'm gonna double click here then i'm gonna go on my desktop then i'll bring three or four videos just to demonstrate Okay, so we're going to create a composition uh, which is a sequence inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And once you got your videos inside of um, the composition, all you need to do is just don't worry about anything. You can do your editing, you can do whatever it is, but every time you want to combine that um, lower third, all you need to do is just drag it and put it there. So now if we can play, you will see that uh, the lower third has no any background it just comes the way it's supposed to come okay so maybe you'll be wondering and you'll be like okay but then we saw you creating animating the lower third with the same video don't you want to try another video so i can also bring another video which can be this video here i'll bring it in the timeline as well that video i can also bring the same lower third which is uh, this one here and bring it there as well and then you will see that the lower third still is doing what it is so it doesn't matter which um which video is behind it but as long as you export it with rgb plus alpha the background is never gonna be in there okay so hopefully this made sense a lot and uh this works in each and every editing software as long as the editing software is capable of importing pictures as an png sequence okay so thank you guys for watching this video and uh, if this video has provided any info that is useful into your workflow i will suggest that you click the subscribe button and also turn on the notification button this has been partial media i'll see you in my next video and also another tip is i provide service in graphic designing uh, video editing and um, music production if there is a chance that we can work globally or we can work online my email is in the link description but also my phone number is there you can call me internationally or globally i'll be able to discuss a business with yourself whereby we can work um online and help each other other than that leave a comment in the comment section uh, let me know what you think about the videos but also share them with your friends that are inspired with video graphics motion graphics video editing uh, graphic designing and all those all right i'll see you guys in my next video stay tuned